So guess what? I'm not in the Peak District. <laughs> um, I'm actually in South Derbyshire today, um, mostly because it's Mother's Day tomorrow. Um, so I don't want to be too far from home. So uh, my my mum doesn't live near me, so it's a bit of a drive to get to my mum's. So uh, yeah, so a bit of a local one today. And the plan is that I'm at a local reservoir where I'm hoping that I can camp overlooking the reservoir but um, I may not be able to. So I do know the woods um, where there's a nice little spot that I can camp in the woods. So either way, I'll be camping, but we'll see where I'll be camping. You guys will know because it'll probably be the thumbnail, but I don't know yet. So <laughs> um, yeah, <laughs> I'll uh, see you guys soon. Start to see the reservoir. Hmm. I've got a beautiful spot in mind. Part of my conundrum today was what to wear because it's going to be really hot during the day, like 18 degrees, which is pretty warm compared to what it has been, um, but only five degrees at night. Um, so I quite like to do a little bit of sunbathing <laughs> down by the reservoir. Um, but the route to get there is like full of brackens and stuff in fact here yeah, this is what i'm going to be walking through to get to my chosen destination so bare legs isn't great i know because i've done it um they were a bit like a pin cushion at the end there is a tiny tiny little path just here but uh, it's a bit of off-roading to get where i'm going <laughs> <laughs> this is always a fun bit. <laughs> we made it. As you get to this bit, it really is the faintest of paths. If you know where you're going, all right. Basically, handrail the reservoir, which is just over there. Yeah, proper scrambling through the undergrowth like an intrepid explorer. <laughs> Once again, she who dares rodders, she who dares. So this is a little bit of land in the middle of the reservoir, look. Now there is a guy, if I see him in, you see the boat. There's Mr. Boaty, Boaty Boatface. But I've managed to get here unspotted, see if I can remain unspotted. My plan is to go back to the car around four o'clock, get the camping gear and return. If I get spotted, then I'm going to a different spot. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I've got, got a couple of drinks and I've got some tunes and I'm just gonna sit here and enjoy sun. I might move my map so I've got a bit of sun but I'm just gonna see how I go with boat him at boat face first. <laughs> There's also someone I can see. So you can see the boat, you can't really see it on the video but next to it is a tiny little plume of smoke, probably someone having a bit of a barbecue down there. But hopefully they ain't gonna be too fast because they shouldn't be having a barbecue there anyway. I thought I was busted then. <laughs> Boating at Boatface and, and sailing at Boatface. 
<laughs> just literally came right past me. I thought they looked like they were turning towards me and then he just turned around and headed away. Fee-ho-ho. -ho. So I think we're, uh, we're good to go here tonight, folks. It is awesome. I have camped here before in summer. Um, it's a lot easier to get away with it in summer because there's leaves on the trees, you know, at the moment. And then you see that these uh, silver birches would normally give me a good bit of cover. Most most people are on the other side of the lake. Anything that's on this side of the lake is is the boathouse, which is house is just over there. You can just about see it. I mean, Pooch is chilling in the sun, look. I'm still not convinced by boat and boat face. I mean, I sat so still that maybe they didn't realise that I'm a person. <laughs> Luckily, Pooch has also sat down and chilled. So I'm just gonna stay here and not move. <laughs> Although, once it gets about four o'clock, I'm going to head back to the car, go grab my stuff, and come back here. <laughs> I tell you what, there's nothing like listening to reggae and sunshine. Absolutely love it. It's one of my favourite pastimes. <laughs> oh, right, time is four o'clock, so I'm going to head back to the car, go get the camping gear. I've decided to leave a couple of things here, like my mini rig speaker. Mini rig speakers. So uh, the beauty with these guys, right, so the battery just lasts forever, like 50 plus hours, it's crazy. Um, really loud, really good sound. Um, you can daisy chain them, so you can link several of them up together. Um, and also you can use it as a charger for your phone and things like that, so power bank. So um, yeah, these things highly, highly rated. Um, they've got a bit of a cult following. So I've got the tent all set up now, glamping tonight, I've got a, got a rug at the front door, or a doormat. <laughs> and the sun's just about to set. So I'm going to do a little time lapse of the sunset, hopefully we'll get a good one. And then I'll see you for dinner. tonight I've got some pasta carbonara with some ham and mushrooms that I've also cooked and brought with me at the moment I'm just toasting the uh, ciabatta garlic bread I put the simmer ring on this is actually from a pressure cooker <laughs> but it works quite well as a little grill <laughs> or as a, a strainer or as a chopping board or an extra lid it's quite multifunctional <laughs> I've just got the uh, pasta keeping warm in there and I'll uh, mix it with the sauce and the ham when it's when the garlic bread's done okay so the garlic bread's about ready so I'm going to put the sauce in the pasta. I bet it's going to be one of those things that don't open properly. Ah, it opens! <laughs> Hallelujah! So I'll add the mushrooms. And the ham. Oops. <laughs> okay. Give that a stir up. And then I'm going to put this back on to simmer for a few minutes just to warm it all back through. And then we should get that ready. 
dinner is served. Yum. Yum. <laughs> Peach likes them. <laughs> <laughs> Nice view for dinner. And everybody's gone home. Right, so it's about half eight now. Um, quite tired actually. Um, I think I was almost falling asleep then for a minute. So um, yeah, I think I'm uh, going to turn the lights out and get an early night. Right. Morning. Slept really well last night. I think I must have had easily eight hours. Um, fell asleep about half eight, nine. Um, woke up about six with the dawn. Um, I did wake up a couple of times during the night, um, but uh, fell asleep quite easily again. So yeah, it's a lovely relaxing night. And, uh, just get my coffee on the go in a minute and. Have a little stroll about camp and yeah, get a move on. Guessy mum, Mother's Day. Love you, Mum. Happy Mother's Day. Although you won't see this for two weeks. <laughs> Morning. waiting for a breakfast look. Go on then. And, uh, looks like the water's about boiling for my coffee. So because uh, I'm cooking got on a trangier I've got a whole bowl full of coffee. <laughs> I'm gonna enjoy drinking that. <laughs> Hi, Pooch. Very peaceful morning. Slight mist over the water. The sun about to break through the clouds. So, all packed up in the tent now, and uh, yeah, let's get packed down and uh, get to me mum's. <laughs>
time a stark one to be honest. People say it's a bit fiddly, the pole sleeve's quite tight but once you've got the technique it's fine. on the way. Leave no trace. Just a flat bit of grass. I've been collecting rubbish on my way. I've got, uh, I think it's five beer cans, a couple of Coke cans, Desperado, Lucas Aid, Chris wrappers. I don't know why people come to these beauty spots and then just trash them. Hi, right, just back at the car now. Finished with my litter pick. I picked up some McDonald's bags and a pizza box and Starbucks cups. All, all the big name brands <laughs> went shopping. Um, but yeah. Okay. Hope you enjoyed the video and uh, I'll see you on the next one.